Sigurd Sidi Sohya Iji Rum Susam Give Donation So Donation Collecting here So Rasananda Prabhu Taking this Donation So Give here So This is Rule here So Outside They are Giving But All are Give him here in Rasananda Prabhu. So, we came in Govinda Temple. So, now you listen this thing, very sweet thing. Sri Rupa Goswami Prabhu told, Bandhu Sange Jadi Tava Ramka Parikha. The temple of Sri Govinda Dev. Sri Rupa Goswami Prabhu. Most intimate and dear follower of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was given some mission to perform in this world. What is that? Lupta Tirtha Udhara, Sri Vidra Apakash, Bhakti Granta Dhanaya, and Vaishnav Saraja Stavara. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ordered Rupa Goswami Pai to uncover the lost holy places in Brajmandal and to manifest the Vigraha, the lost deities which had been established by Bhajana 5,000 years before, and to write Bhakti Granta, and to establish proper behavior for Vaishnavas. These four aspects of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mission, the responsibility to accomplish this was given to the Goswamis. So when Sri Rupa Goswami Bhai came here to Vrindavan, he was doing Prakrama. And as he was going around, he was thinking in his heart of my Sanatana Goswami. He has found Madan Mohan. So there are three prominent figures, Madan Mohan, Govindaji and Gopina. So already my Sanatana Goswami, but he has found Madan Mohan. But where is Govindaji? Where is he? How will I find him? And in this way he was in anxiety and thinking how to fulfill the desires of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So when he was doing Purkrama, one Brahman approached him and said, Oh Baba, there's a very uh, unusual phenomena happening just here. On this hill, there is uh, a hole in the ground and every day a cow comes there and milk comes out from the other of the cow and goes in the hole in the ground. <laughs> Rupa Goswami said, can you show me that place? So then he took Rupa Goswami to that place and he looked and he began to remove the soil and there he found See, going, going to there. Yes. This place is called Goma, Goma Tila. Yes. Where we went to the original Govinda Ji Temple, it was there. So, see the Rupa Goswami Park, he has glorified Govinda Dev in his Bhaktura Sakmita Sindhu Granta and Srila Bhaktura Thakur, taking the ideas of Rupa Goswami Park from his verse, he has written this song that was just sung by the Puja Pahit Bhaktivedanta Sadhu Maharaj. So Rupa Goswami Pahit has written, Smayam Bhangi Karya Parajitam Sachi Vistri Nadristim Bhangsi Nastadre Kishlayam Pujalam Chanda Kena Govindakyam Paritam Kutika Keshi Tirtaho Pakante Ma Praxis Tavtava Yagisake Bandhu Sange Stilangaha Oh my dear Saki, I have some advice to you. Don't go to Vrindavan. But if you go to Vrindavan, be very careful. You should not go to Keshi Ghat. But if by chance you get lost and you end up in Keshi Ghat, now you're in a very dangerous condition. But it's still not too late. But you should know that there's one boy and he stands at Keshi Ghat beneath the Kadamba tree and he holds a flute to his lips. Sparam Bangi Taya such a mysterious interesting. He smile, his smile is very, very sweet and charming. And he looks with very crooked eyes. And when he holds his flute to his lips and begins to play, and his lips are illuminated by the beams of the moon, that time he's so attractive. Don't look at him. I wanted to tell you all not to go and take Gasha, but that's too late. What can I do? He said, why? Why not? Oh, because if you love your family members, your mother, father, your children, your husband, your friends and your society and the, the respectability 
and religious life, all the things you have which are valuable in this world. If you like these things, you should not look at him. Why not? Because he's so attractive and beautiful. If you will see him just one time, there's no way that you'll ever return to your home again. You will never return to your home. You will forget everything and leave everything. So it was unlucky. The uh, darshan began before I could speak my translation in English. And now you're all gone, so it's too late. So when the Rupa Goswami established the Dityam Govinda Devi, there was no Radharani, apparently. It appears that Radharani was not there. So, in South India, when Brahmin was worshipping the deity of Radharani, when he left this world, his name was Vrishab Hanu. When he left this world, this deity came into the care of the Sriman Devi Jagannath Puri. And at that time, the Purushottam Jan, the king of Jagannath Puri, he had a dream. And in that dream, Radharani told him, Oh, I want to go to Vrindavan. So, he, yeah. In the Jagannath Puri temple, they are worshipping this deity, thinking this is Lakshmi Devi. So she told him, I am not Lakshmi Devi. And she went to Radharani. And my beloved has manifested, has been manifested, where? In Vrindavan by Shri Rupa Goswami. So I want to be united with him. So then, Shrimati Radharani came from Jagannath Puri and standing at the side of Shri Govinda Dev. Hey! 
Okay, are you ready to go down? Or we'll take the shot first. Let me go to the
It's okay. I want it like that. <laughs>